Look at this. Let's say that this glass is your life. A vessel, because that's what it is. It's a vessel. How many of you know our lives are vessels? <clears throat> now let's say that this water typifies the Holy Spirit. Now here's our life. Here's the Holy Spirit. Here's our vessel. Every true child of God, when they are born again, don't let anybody tell you any different. You cannot be born again without the Spirit of God. But when you are born again, you have a whole vessel and a whole life and you're born again by the Spirit, but you're just a baby. Come on, how many of you know you're stronger today than you were 20 years ago when you first got saved. If you're not, then there's something wrong with you. How many of you have, how many of you have grown spiritually since you've been born again? All right. Now, but when you were born again, you were like this. See? You have the spirit. Somebody said, can you have the spirit of God? By measure, of course you can. You say, how do you get more of the measure of the spirit? The more you yield your life. Amen. The more you come into spiritual understanding. The more you grow. That's how you get more. Now, I've grown in the spirit, but I still am not full, am I? Come on. The prayer language of the Holy Spirit, the speaking in other tongues, is part of my spiritual growth. It's part of the manifestation that the Spirit is in me. So I receive the gift of the prayer language. I receive even the use of the manifestation of the gifts of healing, faith, interpretation, prophecy. See, God uses me, uses you in the gifts of the Spirit. The more you yield your life, the more you receive the more you yield the more god uses you the more you yield the more the holy spirit takes over jesus didn't go through this process because he was 100% Totally obedient. Come on, do you understand? Once you become 100% total obedient, do you know that's what the scripture says? That's why God could not leave Jesus in the grave after he died on the cross and was buried in the grave. It is written that because he was obedient even unto the death of the cross, God was forced to raise him from the dead. Now, now watch what happens. Watch what happens. The question, you see, are the questions being answered? Come on. Come on. Are the questions being answered? Come on. Are the questions in your heart being answered? All right. Come on. Now, you've got the prayer language down here. Can somebody have the prayer language and still not be baptized? Of course. Can somebody have the spirit by measure? Of course. Can somebody have the prayer language of the Holy Spirit and not be full of the Holy Spirit? Of course!
That's why you got a lot of people, brother, talking in tongues and living lives that don't manifest the fullness of the Spirit. Come on. Now, either, either we're going to know this thing by the fruits we produce or we're going to be blind leaders of the blind and just have a lot of bunch of spiritual formulas that really aren't productive. Am I talking to myself here? Am I talking to myself? All right, now, tell me, to the best of my ability now, tell me, is that vessel full? Oh, yes, it is. Best of my ability, if I get any more water in there, brother, it's going to spill over. That's full. That's full. That's full. Now, the question is, can a vessel be full of the Holy Spirit and not baptized? Yes. Of course. Why, Brother Shul? Because baptism is not being full. The word baptism means to have the spirit without measure. You can't see it. It's full of and controlled. I know, Holy Spirit. <laughs>